G'day guys, another BVD video. I'm going to be looking at um, the benefits of running a BVD at 15 volts. Now the apparent benefit is that there is less noise because you increase the headroom for your signal. So it, will, it won't hit the rail and clip and, ma and, 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 and make sort of a distorted sound. That sound isn't necessarily unpleasant. Um, it's actually one of, the, one of the characteristics of a BVD and why we like it, but obviously too much is going to be a whole different thing. There's kind of, it's kind of a noisy sort of delay and you know, like a, lo a low fidelity sort of delay. That's the, that's the appeal of it, um, as opposed to a digital delay, which can often be st very sterile, um, as they say. So we'll take a look at it. I've mic'd it up. I'm just going to show you my setup. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod just for one sec. So down here, we have my timeline and I've actually got, I've already done the guitar signal because I want the guitar signal to be the same for each sample as opposed to me playing because if I start hitting the guitar harder um, there's more likely chance that it's going to clip so I just want the same signal for um, for at 15 volts and at 9 volts so if we turn that up that's the, that's the signal I recorded that before in the loop function of the timeline and then over here we have the power supply at the moment is running at 9 volts. I'm going to increase that to 15 um, and I'm going to make it a quick sound test so you'll hear one directly after the other so we can hear the difference um, and you can decide whether it's going to be worth all the extra time, effort and money of doing a 15 volt VBD or not. <clears throat> so that's pretty well it. Let's just hear it now on 9 volts and see what it's actually going to sound like through this, um, through this delay. I'll switch the delay on and make sure the delay settings are correct. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. Um, you're watching me the day after. Um, I just did the last video because I had a problem. Um, and the problem's actually a good one to explain to um, new builders. But I'm going to do it in a separate video because I think it's actually going to benefit to have a separate video in case people are searching for um, exactly what happened. Uh, but I'll go into that later. But you'll, you'll notice that the, text bo the test box has um, gone out of the equation. So I had a problem with the test box. Um, so let's get back to the video. So I've got this set, I, I'm trying to remember actually where I left off, but um, we're doing a nine volt versus 15 volt comparison and apparently there should be less noise with 15 volts. So let's start on nine volts first and then I've been mucking around with this, that's why it's on 15. We'll put it on nine volts and then we'll do it on 15 volts. You'll know which one I'm on because you can see it in the preview window. Um, so yeah, I'll do a quick comparison between the two. Let's go. So you probably noticed a couple of things there. First one is it actually sounded worse on 15 volts. In my, to my ears it did. And the second is that the delay, uh, the, the number of repeats increased as I turned up the volume, uh, at the, vo the voltage. I think the repeats actually sounded worse because it, you probably have to re-bias it um, when you actually turn it up to 15 volts. Um, so I've now just biased it to ear. I'll turn it on for a minute so you can hear it. And it's much clearer. Actually, I'll mic it up properly so you can actually hear it. And um, I'll do that comparison again with 9 volts and 15 volts. And I'm going to actually bias it this time. Bias it on 9 volts properly, because I'm not even sure that was biased properly. 
and bias it properly on 15 volts. But we're going to go backwards because I've already done 15 volts. We'll go 15 and then 9. So without actually further listening to the sound clips, um, I usually get a better impression once I put my headphones on and listen back to the sound clips through the, through the sound demo. Um, just in front of the amp, it sounded a bit like there was a bit more of a sort of a um, uh, distortion or noise um, uh, in, in, in the repeat on the 9 volt setting compared to the 15 volt. And the 15 volt sounded a bit more, bit more it was a bit more pronounced. And um, I'm, I'm just wondering if that's because um, it sounded like the volume actually went up a bit too um, on the 15 volts, a lot quieter on um, 9 volts as well, um, which is, you know, probably um, to do with the, um, the increased, you know, increased voltage, you get, um, you know, an increased um, signal level. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think it did, I think it did sound better on 15 volts, um, um, uh, but, I mean, it sounded pretty... I think it sounds pretty good on 9 volts, uh, even on 9 volts, I still think they sound pretty good, you know, and um, like I said, if you want to avoid extra cost and complication of um, 15 volts, and you think that that 9 volt, um, that 9 volt sound sample sounded good, um, then I'd then give it a go. But I, I'd, I'd give you one tip too, um, just from some of the conclusion I came from a couple of other videos, don't bother with, um, don't bother with a uh, V3208 or, or, or V3205 um, or any of the cool audio chips, they're, they're terrible. I know there's been batteries that have been good, but the ones that I tried were just shocking. They, they were supposed to be a VVD reproduction, they weren't. The new, um, this the jury's still out on this, but it's looking promising. The new um, X5 um, reissues of the MN3005 are supposed to be really good. Um, and they're not as expensive, and there's not there's no fakes either. So um, buy them from a reliable source. Obviously, I'm a reliable source because I buy them from the manufacturer. Small Bear is another one, and I'm sure the other pedal dis part distributors will get onto it as well. Buy one from a reputable pedal part um, distributor, so you don't end up with fakes because there's no there's no telling what you'll get if you order them on eBay and stuff like that. Um, particularly with BVDs because they're expensive. And um, and there's and 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 the sound diff quality difference between one to the other, between a cool audio and a genuine Panasonic, is is uh, one sounds just crap, and the other one sounds like you just heard. They're they're genuine Panasonics. So um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, and um, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll probably have a few more um, uh, BVD based um, videos and a sound demo of those um, X5 um, 305s when they come in, 3005s when they come in. Thanks for watching.